So dry blood analysis evaluates the coagulation morphology of blood. Now there's a very distinct difference between the dry blood sample of a healthy individual and that of a chronically ill person. And we have an image on the left hand side there, uh, which is a, a very good example of what normal blood should look like in uh, dry blood samples. Uh, that's what we really aim for uh, when we want to see a healthy dry blood image. And the image on the right hand side there is right at the other end of the spectrum. So the image on the right hand side here is uh, what we refer to as, opt uh, as oxidative stress stage 4 or stage 4 oxidative stress or uh, also referred to as the degeneration pattern. Uh, so as we can see there are very large open areas in the image on the right hand side uh, where the blood seems to have separated uh, and, and quite different you know, compared to the image on the left hand side there of what normal blood should look like. So these are of course, you know, these are two images right at the two opposite ends of the spectrum here really and there are of course many anomalies and patterns that we can see uh, you know, before this image on the right hand side finally emerges.